guys hello family uh, i just want to share something with you that is going to be really 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 quick on, on this um this thread let's say from this buy what happened on the buy and what i was expecting i do have the analysis that i make yes i know i'm not trading but i cannot stay away from the market so i need to see how market is playing every single day try and build that confidence in myself try and build you know that uh that power in me of seeing things and accept what i need to see so what i saw from this uh, market i saw market that break you see we have this push to the downside and uh for people that they know most of the time i look at the three push or what is the correction because this going to the upside was a correction why is the correction because i see we have a rally market created based and market rally again or if you wanna use let's say we wanna look at it in terms of uh how do you call Elliot to have what you're gonna say here we have a then b this is the c you said this is the c movement so this was like just a correction and at the end of the day if you wanna look again try to 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 open our eyes try and see okay where is market going and uh, what is uh, our target so we need to understand all these concepts and see where we need to take the trade about because when market is coming to the downside uh there is type of people that they'll tell you example supporting the resistance doesn't work whatever they'll tell you but i'm not gonna tell you these things i told you even you guys last time you need to know when to take the trade at the support and when to take the trade at the resistance let's say check like here you see this line the one i put here is the one that we call a significant support and the resistance this line was holding the market for so long and another thing that you need to see is when you see a resistance like this let's say here it was a support it become a resistance a resistance a resistance then market break do you see this clean break at the same time when market break this zone what do you have here we have what you call a double marrow we call a double marrow or hidden base so when market is coming back this is your level where we have to to wait for market to come and react to because all this area the one that you see here this zone was acting like a liquidity liquid, liquid it, you see so you just need to know that okay i'm not gonna take a buy here i'm not gonna take a buy here then where is the level that market is going to hold sometimes this area here we call it the sse so we look for trades inside this zone but because i have a significant decision points at the support you see at the sorry at the resistance then i realize okay i need to take the trade here this is what happened here then market gets here check the reaction on this level then when i saw market was going to the upside my major focus was to see how market is going to react from this uh, sell because this was the last time where market sold and this area was what we call a demand level because when market goes to the upside this one was a demand level markets come and touch for the first time inside my demand level then market push to the upside the second time markets come back it just pulls small then check the way they did what they drop what is the scenario here the only thing that you need to understand is that when market gets at the first time at this zone they collected most of the orders that was resting here this is why you see they push market more to the upside because of the qml that was here then market could not continue to the upside then market all i've already explained these things on the previous video if you want you can watch the other video to understand it properly then when they come again for the second time now you need to see what is happening at your zone check this one market goes up and return market goes up again trade inside this zone here then re return again here again so already the order that was resting at this zone it's already finished what do you expect next when i see something like this so most of the people they'll say ah this one is a rejection i need to jump on on the thread but you need to understand what is the logic at your zone what is happening at this zone how is the order being collected so this is something that is very 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 important to pay attention to then when we start buying here my target my first target was for market to come and react to this level 
if we did react to this level, let's say market uh, just get here, like the way we are buying, we, we bought until this area, then I'm expecting market to sell again. So if market can sell, let's say if they respect this level, then the next stop where they're going to stop is going to be this area. Then they create liquidity. From this liquidity, then they must run hold this. Either they respect this zone here, or maybe run the clear or liquidity that was resting below here for them to do it, to continue again to, uh, to the upside. Or either what I'm going to see is just this cell, the one we have right now, just to come straight here. Then we have something like this. Then from here, I'm sure market is going to return again somewhere here. Then we continue to the upside. So this is what I'm expecting on this market. Now, let me show you on the low time frame. You see the target. The target is for market when it's buying. My target is here and the next target is there. This is where I need to look for sell position. But what are you going to see most of the people they'll do? They'll go to the low time frame. So when they go to the low time frame, when market is buying, so now they'll try to catch all these small sales, small sales. <coughs> Sorry, guys. The moment you start catching all these small sales, what, what is that you have in your, in your mind? You are, <coughs> you are making the big picture go away from you, from your mindset. Sometimes you even forget that you are the higher target where market has to go. Because of this small sell, small sell, small sell. Because there is nowhere market is just going to go straight like this line. Just go whoop up until to the top. So market does just maybe consolidate, play those stuff. You see those kind of stuff. So this is how you need to look at the market. Look the market on the higher picture and try to see what is happening on the higher picture. Then react to the small time frame. When you react to the small time frame, then it's going to be very, very, very nice for you. You won't go on the wrong side of the market. It's either you're going to say, let me wait for this one to pull back at any significant level, then I'm going to take another buy. So let's say if you have a buy here, you have a buy at this area. When we clear this, you're going to wait for a pullback. Then you take another buy. You see. So every time when market break return, you take a buy. Break return, you take a buy. This is how you need to trade these things. But when you are trying to catch all this small movement, sometimes people, while they are trying, they'll forget the big picture. Because if you are selling here, someone is going to say, okay, I have a break of structure. Then market has to return because there is a QML here. Let me come and do it and take a, a sell position again. Let me hold my sell. He's holding the sell, then break even. Or either you didn't move the stop loss, market come and kick the person out. Then, at the end of the day, psychology start kicking in. The person start having a problem, asking question. Am I knowing what I'm doing or what? You see those kind of stuff. So it's just that you need to understand how is the higher probability trade. But we can also scalp the small time frame. But when you're scalping, you need to know when to exit. That is the thing. You need to know when to exit and when to take another continuation. Also, I explained to you guys in my past of videos about the zone. Let's say when I have a daily zone like this, this is a daily zone, then I cannot take my trade on the higher time frame like this. So what I need to do, I have to go to H1. And inside H1, what am I seeing? I can say, okay, this, this is the area. I think maybe let's say this one. Yeah, this one. You can say this one. This one here can be my entry. You see? This one can be my entry because this is a demand. It's the same scenario like the one I was explaining on the beginning. We have a demand. Market come. Go to the upside. Then break a demand. So this line. Also, you can take the trade from here. From this candlestick. So you open your trade here up until this area because here we have the double marabuzus there we have our line ssr line that is there that was been respecting let me just put for you guys so you can see do you see this line even this zone here like this small going to the upside doesn't matter you know but as long as you have the full concept you understand what you have to do at this zone then you're gonna take a trade imagine i can take my trade here 
I don't even need to go to the small time frame. Because sometimes you're going to go to the small time frame just to confuse yourself. You don't understand what is happening. And check, let's say, because I have a logic. When I find the zone, let's say I find this one on um, H1. Then I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to M, M5 to see how I'm going to take my trade. Tell me, how are you going to take your trade? The only thing that you need to wait right now is for the break of structure, break of this law. When market break this law, this is when you have a confirmation. Sometimes discipline also is good. You have a confirmation of you coming and sell. But uh, if I want to sell, maybe sometimes I'm going to say, okay, I have a QML there. But if you don't see it, you don't see it. But there is a QML there. I'm going to say there is a QML here because we have a I, we have a low, higher I, lower low, then market return. Plus, we have the PA. This is a nice PA. What do you call it? Um, fake out zone or eco eyes, whatever it is, or relative eco eyes. But it's a nice PA. Or some people, they'll say they have what we call IMD. This is accumulation, manipulation, then distribution. But the distribution is where? You see, we have our double marabuzu, what we call hidden base. Market gets here, collects orders. This is the order level. We collect orders for precision. This is the area where market was corner sell. Or if you want, let's see this candlestick, cool world. Yeah, this is the candlestick I'm thinking because this was also the last time where they sell before they buy, then they fake out. So this one also is very nice, could be a potential entry. But long story short, check how market was respecting all this body, the way the body had been closing. Do you see? This could be a perfect entry. Then you could make this one. Almost uh, 700 and, uh, 767 pips just morning from new candlestick when the new candlestick open. You see, it's so fast and quick, proper, how you could make this money. And uh, yeah, so guys, this is what I wanted to show you. You need to see the market on a higher time frame, not on the small time frame. Because small time frame is a problem. If you miss this entry, what is going to be your next entry? My next entry is going to be here. Market could not respect this demand. Why? Because we have one, two, three. Clean break. Return again. What do you see? What What is that? If you go to the left side, what do you see? Do you see how market has been playing around this line? And you see here, could be your entry. Guys, I'm sharing the big secret, but if you don't make money out of all whatever I'm sharing, then it's your problem. So enjoy the video, guys. Sharp.